Saxon course 2, lesson 41, using formulas in distributive property. So here we have find A and A equals LW when L is 8 feet and W is 4 feet. This is the formula for finding the area of a rectangle. So what it means is I have A equals LW. I'm going to put 8 feet in for L and 4 feet in for W. So I end up with A equals 8 feet times 4 feet, which is equal to 32 feet squared. Okay. On this next one, evaluate 2 times L plus W when L is 8 centimeters and W is 4 centimeters. So again, we're going to put in 8 centimeters for L and 4 centimeters for W. So I end up with 2 times 8 centimeters plus 4 centimeters. Now we do what's inside the parentheses first, so we end up with 2 times 12 centimeters, which is equal to 24 centimeters squared. Okay, this next one has to do with perimeter. And it says use the two perimeter formulas to find the perimeter of the rectangle. The first perimeter is 2 times L plus W. And then the second formula is 2L plus 2W. Okay, so using both of these, my length is 30 inches and my width is 20 inches. So I'm going to so it's going to equal 2 times 30 plus 20, which is equal to 2 times 50, which is equal to 100 inches. So that's doing it the first method. If I do it the second method, I end up with 2 times 30 plus 2 times 20. So 2 times 30 is equal to 60, plus 2 times 20 is equal to 40, which is equal to 100 inches. It's got the same answer both times. Okay, this one I need to simplify this, in this expression, and we do that with distributive property. So the first way, I have 6 times 20 plus 5, with the one way is to add the 20 plus 5 first. So I end up with 6 times 25, which is equal to 150. The other way to do it is with the distributive property, and that's where I take the 6 and I multiply it to the 20 and to the 5 before I add it. So instead, I end up with 6 times 20 plus 6 times 5. That gives me 120 plus 30, which is equal to 150. No matter how I do it, I get the same answer when I do it correctly. In this one, I have to simplify this, and I have a missing letter. So I start with the 2 times 3 plus n plus 4. I'm going to use the distributive property and multiply the 2 times the 3 and the 2 times the n. You have to use distributive property when we have a missing number. So I end up with 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2 times n, which is 2n, plus 4. Okay. After that, I'm going to put it so my 2n is first, just to make things simpler. 2n plus 6 plus plus 4 with the commutative property. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the 6 plus 4, so 2n plus 10. Okay. And I know, so this is simplifying it to as much as I can, and that's going to be your answer. And that's it for this lesson.